this is Bobcat. Today I'm doing a review of my Beretta M9 slash 92FS 9mm pistol. To start with, the M9 and the Beretta 92FS are the same gun. The only difference is the markings and the finish. The uh, markings are a little different on the M9. They say, well, you know, bring it up. Right here, my camera will focus on it. Your camera's not focusing, but it says US 9mm M9 Beretta USA and the serial number. On a regular 92, it's just going to have the serial number and a couple other markings, but it won't say M9 USA, all that stuff. And then the finish is a little different. On the M9, it's more of a matte. On the 92, it's a little more polished. Beyond that, there's not any difference between the guns. The M9 comes from the factory with two magazines, standard capacity, which means 15 rounds, this is a California model, which means it has 10 rounds instead of 15. Ooh. Hi, dog. You're in the way. Look out. Okay. But, uh, these magazines are not exactly flush fit, but they're close. They, As if the grip weren't big enough, this is a very big pistol. But they give you a little bit extra room for your pinky. Or a dog nose. Look out, Jade. Silly dog. Like I said a minute ago, the Beretta is a very big pistol, according to the official paperwork that came with the gun. It is, um, let's see, barrel length, 4.92 inches, right here. Come on, camera, focus. Okay, it's not going to focus. 4.92 inch barrel, overall length of 8.54 inches, overall height of 5.51 inches. Width of 1.5 inches. The empty pistol is 33.86 ounces. So that's pretty heavy. The magazine itself is 3.8 ounces. And fully loaded, the weight of the pistol is 40 ounces. It holds a lot of ammo. For comparison, I have a Smith & Wesson shield which is a small, not quite subcompact, but smaller com compact 9mm. And you can see, the Beretta is... It, it dwarfs it. This is... This is a big gun. The Beretta is a double action, single action. Which means, with the hammer all the way forward, you can pull the trigger and fire it, or you can pull back the hammer and have a shorter trigger. So, safety check it. Nothing in there. Has a slide mounted decocker, which is also safety. Disconnects the trigger. Push that forward. And you can see the hammer right here is forward. And the gun would have fired. Say that was your first shot, and you're carrying it that way. So there you go. Gun fires. Slide cycles. Your hammer is back. And you got a much shorter trigger. So for if you want to carry one with carry this gun with a round in the chamber, it's perfectly safe to do so, so long as you have the hammer forward. Actually, a specific model of this gun made so that the safety is just a hammer drop. So instead of so with the safety like that, your hammer back. Say you just fired a couple rounds and you want to put it back in your holster with ammo in it. Go like that, and with the standard model, your trigger's disconnected. But a lot of people make it so that the safety bounces back up and your trigger's live. That's personal preference. It's called the G model or G modification as opposed to the FS. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Going into the function of the pistol, the I have really small hands. I mean, you can see my thumb is really tiny. So this is a big pistol, but I don't really have any trouble reaching the trigger. You can get a good two-hand grip on it and it's fine. To, I, the one thing I do have a little bit of trouble with is the safety slash decocker and the magazine. I have to adjust my grip to touch those, but that's I'm used to that, so I work with that. The uh, magazine release just drops the magazine free. You can see if I hold it upside down, it still kicks the magazine out. So it's a fairly positive magazine release, and the magazine seats very easily. There we go. It's seated. 
the slide release is actually fairly easy for me to operate, even with my short thumbs. So you'll pull back the slide, lock it up. There we go. I did that without having to use my other thumb. And then it's really easy to drop. Just like that. Doesn't take hardly any strength, and you're there. The trigger is really smooth, even from the box. That's one of Beretta's selling points, is that they have really smooth double action triggers. See, that's just smooth. And then, when you put it in single action, you get a little bit of take up here. And then it's just crisp. This is a good enough trigger that me, I'm not the greatest shot in the world, but I can shoot milk jugs pretty much all day at 50 yards with this pistol. Moving on to the trigger guard, you can see it's rounded down here, and then just kind of goes straight up here. There's a little bit of a indent in it. That's so you can get a good hold like that. It is serrated on the front, and it gives a good grip, even when your hands are wet. And the trigger guard is big. Um, if you're wearing thick gloves, you might have a little bit of trouble getting your finger in in double action, but you can buy a trigger from Wilson Combat that sets the trigger back a little bit. I haven't done that yet, but I am kind of planning on it. We'll see how that goes. The grip is big. It has to hold this double stack magazine, which standard capacity is 15 rounds, this one's 10. So it is wide, you can see. It's actually quite wide. But it's not terribly uncomfortable. It's a nice shape, easy to hold. It has these vertical serrations here and on the front for a good grip. The grips themselves, grip panels, are nicely checkered. They've got the Breda logo right there, which I think is pretty. I like that logo. The uh, magazine release is for the right side, but it can be switched out for the left, so a left-handed shooter could use this, which means it's semi-ambidextrous. The slide release is stuck on the left side of the gun. You can't switch switch it around. But the safety is ambidextrous. The takedown lever is right here. You use that by pushing this button on the other side. Push and hold that. You flip your takedown lever down and the slide comes off the gun like that. I won't go into a full field strip. I have another video on that. A link in the description. But uh, if you want to see that, you can go ahead and look in the description. The sights on the M9 are slightly different than on the 92FS. What I mean by that is, whoop, hit my camera there. You can see the rear sight on the M9 is a U with a little white dot down there. So, camera's not focusing, but that's a little white dot, and then there's a white dot on the front sight. And the way you use these sights is you line those up. See if I can get through the camera here. There we go. You line those two dots up. It's called stacking the snowman. With the 92, it's a three dot sight. So instead of having that one dot there, it's got one on each side. And then the one up front. And these sights are... The front sight is part of the slide. The rear sight is dovetailed in. So you can change out the rear sight. The front sight is a little bit... Well, you can't really change it out. It's part of the slide. The slide has these serrations here. Good for gripping. And up on top, you can see the hammer block safety. This falls down and blocks the firing pin unless the trigger is pulled. You can see when I pull the trigger, it goes up and down. And it gets out of the way, and then the firing pin is open. You can fire the gun. And with the hammer block, it makes this pistol one of the safest you can ever buy. Because this gun is so heavy, it has practically no recoil at all. It's much easier to shoot than, say, a shield or even an ultralight 380. This is just, it's a very sweet shooter, very accurate, and very, very nice to shoot. The Beretta MSRPs at right around $675. I haven't looked in a while, but that's where it was last time. Street price, you can get one of these for right around $600 which puts it in the same ballpark as a Glock or 
some of the cheaper 1911s. Final thoughts on the Bread M9. I give it a double thumbs up. I like this. It's probably my favorite handgun I've ever messed with. And I used to work at a gun shop where I had option the option to mess with Colt Gold Cups, all different types of Glocks, FN pistols, got to mess with H&Ks, pretty much everything. And out of all of them, the Breda is my favorite. So if you're looking for a double-action, single-action 9mm, there is also a 40 model. Uh, it's called the 96, so if you're interested in that. But if you're interested in one of these types of guns, I'd definitely take a look at the Beretta. I don't regret it, and I don't think you will either. So, I'll leave off with some shooting footage. This is Bobcat, and I'm out. If you liked today's video, make sure to rate it, share it with your friends, and subscribe so you get notified next time I make a video. Leave me a comment down below. Say hi. Thanks for watching. Hey, Jake. Hi.